Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another motion video. So in today's video, the Blossom campaign 2 ended and we won Legendary Leader technically. And so today we're up against Phantom Warriors. I'm going to go ahead and do my attacks in today's video. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, as you guys can see, campaign ended and uh, we basically won Legendary Leader. So right after this war, um, we're going to be getting the rewards here. So which is like 22,000 war medals. Um, so we're going to be getting that and yeah, I mean... We won first place, Team Rankings as well. Um, but anyways, so take a look at this. Um, my base was actually 28th. What I ended up using was Shadow Nia with her Pansex and Teddy Bomb. So I could have also went ahead and did like a tank in the middle or even x mass for block resurrection. But the only monster that could really resurrect this war, I think, is Vizil. And I don't think Phantom Warrior players really have Vizil ranked and stuff like that. Or I don't think it's just going to be used as much anyway. So I just wanted to basically use Teddy Bomb with um, 7 cents there. So we also have Vada Magma Triskelis on my attacker. And then Adam's Cross there in case if they go ahead and use like Dark Baltic or something. You know, just spamming the extra turns and stuff like that. Um, that way I could probably chip off a coin if they go ahead and do that. that like I don't have any end spaders on my base, but it's okay. So as you see, that's uh, what I set up. And let's go ahead and do our attacks here. So currently the score is 45 to 39. Attack difference is we have one more attack than them. Um, so here are the restrictions. I'm going to go ahead and start my attack. So this is a super fast uh, base right here uh, for Slumster. Slumster can't really do much besides PER if it's super fast or attack and give stamina regen to everybody or even the worst thing possible evasion to everybody. But that shouldn't affect me because the thing is this war, the reason, one of the reasons why I didn't want to run the tank here in the middle is because Serpentix is in war, Pierce Attacker. So most of the bases are going to get shredded with uh, with this monster. So I'm going to go ahead and of course use what I had on my defense. Um, hopefully it should work. Let's see, we got 30k, 28k. Uh, this monster is going to get destroyed. Yeah, uh, because it's going to be light to dark. And after I kill this one, these two can't really do much. They're not much of a threat anyway. Now what I'm thinking about doing is of course getting rid of this. And maybe I could do Perk Throne, if not this one, Devil Fruit. All right, and I am running two NER skills, if I'm not mistaken, unless... Nope, only one. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and get rid of this PER skill. And we're going to go ahead and run this other AOE NER, which is your cooldown. So just in case if we need that, you know what I mean? You never know. Um, this monster has 16k. So in that case, I could do another red, red rune on this. Do I have one? Okay, I do. I could probably make this monster a little slower here too. I could do a team speed. All right, so 27k to 25k, and last but not least, I'm going to do this um, other talent here that will block some of the torture, so I don't take too much damage, you know what I mean? Um, everything else is good, so yeah, that super fast slumster, I don't understand what that is about, you know what I mean? Like, he can't really do much if he's super fast. Look, we're going to go ahead and start the battle. Watch, I'll show you. Slumster, super fast, won't do much. To the sewer, really? <laughs> so what I can do is do this. AOE, any, uh, AOE light damage, that'll kill it. And I don't have torture immunity, so I did get hit with torture, but it's okay. There goes Devil Fruit. I could go ahead and stun it. Shall we do it? Yeah, sure, let's do it. We're going to go ahead and stun it. That Slumster is most likely going to NER and give evasion to the tank. Or just attack. Okay, that works too. Now, see another um, NER skill here that I um, went ahead and equipped. Now it actually helped me out, so I'm going to do this. Or I should have probably did single target there, so seven cents didn't trigger, but it's okay. Um, explosive gifts or this. Let's see, quicksand. All right, let's just charge it for now. We don't get to trigger that too much. Um, oh, I forgot. This is a spamble skill. I could also turn transfer here. All I have is boiling. So if I do this, what is this player or what is this monster running? Angvar's banner one still. There's still one use, kill X armor. After being damaged by scale, the words life is below. Okay. Yeah, well in that case, hmm. Is there enough torture to kill you? So there's ignition, sunburn, bleeding, poison, nightmares. Oh heck yeah, then I'll just do this. And you're basically dead from all those tortures. If my math is right. Even with the heals. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Alright, cool. So that right there was base one. We went ahead and uh, cracked it easily, even though it's already cracked, I'm just talking like we wanna have beat it. Now this is a super fast slumster. Uh not slumster, sorry, the um monster here uh we got 31k speed hmm 31k speed 
You have immune to stun? No, immune to bleed hardened. Do I have a monster here that could give AoE control immunity? No. Never mind. Um hmm, Darkuma, we have Miramotis. No. Actually, let's just find another base. Hold on. I could beat this, but it's gonna take time to like swap runes here and there. Too much time, honestly. Now this base right here is running two attackers. This one's super easy to beat because look, it's only 20k speed. I could literally set, you know, use the same exact setup as uh, before. Plus this time, I'll be able to most likely clean up this monster too because of the light hater. Um, but the thing is, should I really attack it? Um, I'll just leave it for someone else to beat it. Same with this one. This one's really easy to beat, so I'm gonna leave it for another um, player. But let's find something that's not something that's gonna, you know take time away from me uh, to like switch up rings and stuff like that and also it's not super easy uh so this one looks kind of decent uh 24k 28k another super fast lumpster i have 25k speed there yeah so all we have to do really is ner and then one tap this monster with like a light skill or something and then the other two will be easy so we're gonna go ahead and recover all here go in and uh, let's see what we got all right so fire soul kick then all those stuff demonic pact sewer see Super fast slumster won't do any it won't do you any good, really. I'll go ahead and NER. So looks like this won't actually kill it, but we will be able to deal too much damage. A lot of damage actually. Now if I do AoE fire, poison's gonna land in, that's gonna make him weak. Um and he can't really do much. Uh, how many strength runes do you have too? I'll just do this. Yeah, I'll just eliminate those other two monsters, it's fine. That one's gonna take some tortures now from the two. Alright. It's fine. You're stunned. I'll go ahead and NER for everybody. And I could just do this, and you're basically dead from all those tortures unless you have some type of heal. Yeah, no. Okay. GG's. So, <laughs> that one was also pretty easy. Uh, when you see Shadow Nia with uh, Serpentix and a restriction, the war is really easy. Trust me. It it becomes really easy. Um, another thing is, if you roll it in the middle, like let's say instead of winter it would have been a book for ural or skeletron or something like that the war is going to be super easy like you can even auto it you know what i mean um but anyway so it looks like this one's a super fast thirty-seven thousand speed 23 22 um here's the thing let me see serpentix your skills are one turn one turn cooldown do you have any zero turn cooldown you do but it's low it's a low light damage huh so you can probably get one tapped even with that low light damage you could probably get one tapped as well because you have 374k um and then you in the other hand well i might get hit with time stop too keep that in mind unless i do a, like a taunt here even if i do a taunt i'll still get unless unless we don't get hit with uh are you running seven cents yeah if this monster gets hit with <laughs> nanovirus then i'm doomed for but if it doesn't We'll be fine. So, shall we risk it? I mean, I could go with a safer route, but let me go ahead and just go with this. Again, there's a safer route I could go with, but it's going to take time and I'll have to switch up lots of runes or probably go with like a different type of setup entirely. Um, but instead, I'll just do this. So, what I'm thinking is, where's my team speed? Where the heck is my team speed? Come on. I could probably do a life rune. Life rune also works. Life with speed like this. I give uh, Shelly runes against uh, the War of Hounds of Justice. I need to take off those runes soon. Alright, so what we're going to do is give it a maybe bottom Alter. And we'll give it Kellark's Armor. Or Alark's Banner, sorry. With this, we could probably do 7 Sins. If not, something else. Or we'll do 7 Sins. Okay. 25, 24... Or maybe instead of 7 since I could do something else. What do you guys think? This monster is immune to torture anyway. Um, I could do that, shall we? This base is just 6 team speed. I just noticed 6 team speed with triple speed. <laughs> um, anyways, so we'll just go with this. Uh, we should be fine. But the thing is, we do need to switch one of these skills, which is, for example, any of these, uh, honestly. Maybe the fire one, because we won't need it. We're going to go with the AoE light, so zero cooldown. If we get hit with time stop... Um, we could always NER. Hopefully we don't get nanovirus with this, but if it's CDA, we're fine. 
even if I get nanovirus, because I'll just use this skill right here. Where the heck is it? This one, the silent eye. All right, you guys ready? Let's go on and fight. So recover all. Please don't get hit with nanovirus. And also, if I do get hit with nanovirus, please do CDA and don't do something else. Now, let's see. The chances of me getting hit with nanovirus is super low. Oh, the other monster got hit with nanovirus. Okay, that's fine. Dead memories. I think that's a CDA one, right? Okay, so we're going to do the light hater this time. So any other light hater. Oh, yeah. I think even without light here, I would have been able to still eliminate this monster. I want to see how much damage I'll deal with the light hater. So that's triple damage, right? 600k? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, the monsters are dead. Bye-bye. All of them are dead. GG's. All right, let's see what we got here. So this was actually one of my colleagues back in MGO. I remember him. So what do we got here? Um, Spear of Destiny. Uh, what the heck is that talent? I've never seen that before. Oh, there's the one that gives stamina. Yeah. Triple speed, super fast. Um, okay. Well, I don't understand what this is. Triple speed, making it super fast. But the thing is, if you're going to make a super fast Shadow Nia, you got to have another monster that'll be, um, that'll have like a closer speed to it. You know what I mean? So that's why in my defense, I think I did two speed and one team speed or something like that. And then two strength or one strength with two speed, uh, making the speed as close as possible to Shadow Nia. Because if you're going to do a super fast Shadow Nia, here's the thing. You can easily uh, stop that with this. Literally, just do Shock Beast, and now this monster can't do much. So, 18, 17, I could probably do a Team Strength or Team Speed here, honestly. Um, so, now this monster is going to be forced to NER, and if it does try to turn transfer, that's going to be blocked. If it tries to trade disable, gets hit with uh, this, or PER gets hit with um, what's called 7 cents and won't be able to cycle that, you know what I mean? Um, but, anyways, so we got 24k, 23k, all good. We could probably go in and basically one-tap these guys. Um, although I don't know if I can actually one-tap this one. Maybe with the light skill I'll be able to. What do you guys think? This one right here. And also it goes with three tortures. Um, Slumster. Oh, oh, cool. I don't know why you made Slumster slower than this monster. So um, this monster is going to die. Yeah, it's going to take all those tortures and it's dead. All right, let's go ahead and go in. We don't got to think too much. Um, this is going to be a simple base that we can take down. All right, let's go. All right, and I think you give Slumster the freeze thing. Okay, so poison. Oh, you use poison. I could probably do light heater and give an extra turn. But the thing is, hmm, those two tortures there, Hellfire and poison. Plus, that's going to double up next turn. And I don't know if you're running Shadow Nia's Essen, are you? You're not. And so I could turn transfer right now and hit you. But poison's also making me weak. So let me go ahead and any yard and just do that. Um, Triple... Oh, the triple lethality barely deals any damage. Okay. Well, in that case, I could also always do... Oh, I'm not running my AoE fire. No. I wish I was running AoE fire. Am I running Shadow Nia's SN? I am. Okay. So anyways, I guess we could just do this. Apply all three or four tortures. You can't do much. Okay. Now you're going to get hit with seven cents. Everybody's going to get hit. And then uh, Sunster's probably going to go ahead and NER it. That would probably be the best thing to do. Yep, good job. All right, so there goes that. You're gonna get with mana virus and all those other stuff. Uh, you did. You're probably gonna turn transfer now. Oh, I'm glad you're just keep on triggering the um, thing. Now you're gonna die from shadow. Oh no, it's actually not quiet. This monster's just spamming. You should have just turn transferred over to this guy or something. Let me see. You're running Tenny's amulet, so yeah, could have done something like that. Anyways, I could NER or I can. Hmm, I think NER would be the best thing to do. Yeah, let's any ER. All right. So we could do one tap. Or so this comes with poison and burn to an enemy, right? Yeah, block resurrection. Okay. So you don't have anything that will heal you. So if I do this, you're basically dead to tortures. Yep. GG's. And can't do much. So I'll just do this. Package bomb, any ER, That's completely fine. And I could probably do the turn transfer now. I need to run a fire skill. Uh, AoE fire. I need to get rid of this light giant cannon. We don't need it anymore. I'll use it then because why not? We'll make use of it. But I need to get rid of that. Okay, so we have two attacks still left. Uh, this is a super... Fa oh, wait, okay, this one's actually quite decent. I see what this player is trying to do. Um, yeah, 28. Okay, no, never mind. I thought the speed would be pretty close, but no, 28 to 23k, no, that's no good. So what we're going to do is go back to the Fire Beast, it's going to cost me one gem, but it's okay. And now my monster is going to be more powerful, and I can do a this with the Massive, or is it this one? Yeah, this one. 
Okay. Cool. All right, we'll go with that. Yeah, let's see what we got here. So 28, 23, 23,400, 23,700. So we'll go with the team speed here or team life speed. I think that also increases the speed, right? 24,000 now. Okay. Yeah. 2023. Just double checking. So Slaughter can't do much besides any yarn or <laughs> hitting me and then getting hit with nanovirus or torture basically in general, everybody. Um, so I'll just go ahead and any yarn and kill it that way. All right, so cool. Well, let's uh, recover all and go in. This should be super easy. Everybody's running <laughs> Teddy Bomb on their bases. Teddy Bomb, Teddy Bomb, Teddy Bomb. Especially attacker Teddy Bombs. All right. Any R? That'd be the best thing to do. Oh my gosh, no. Uh, that's terrible. That's a terrible move. I'll just do this. <laughs> Let's troll around a little. I don't know why that Teddy, or not Teddy Bomb, the launcher decided to do that, but that launcher is going to take a lot of damage. Yep. And now you're going to get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. This is going to be a super easy battle. We'll do light skill to finish you off. And there goes easy three coins. Cool. Okay. Yeah, this trio is dominating right now. Even though I, I was actually using Teddy Bomb in the middle back then. Just for the team speed. But anyways, Harriman, what you got? I thought that said Harrison, but it's Harriman. 25k, 27k. Oh, you can't really deny me. You can you probably freeze me, actually, if I get hit with Nanovirus. But I doubt I'll get hit with that. And if I do, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Unless, actually, we do... A, um, we run a monster from Metro era. Anybody from Metro? Oh, I don't have anybody ranked from Metro for this book. Let me see. Do, do, do. Is that that's corrupted Metro? I don't have a single monster. Oh my gosh. Dang, 25, 19, 14. Yeah, let's just hope we don't get hit with a thing. That's all, honestly. Um... Yeah, we'll be fine. We could probably even turn transfer, actually. Uh, unless we get hit with shock or something. We gotta watch out. But everything else looks easy. That monster Grakshak can't do much besides... Well, maybe kill this monster, but I doubt it with triple speed only. And doesn't have any um, attacking talent. It's just dark overdose. Let's just go in. Worst thing possible, I get hit with Nanovirus on my shadow. And then I get hit with fr Freeze and... I don't know, honestly, but let's just go on. I won't. Yeah, we're not gonna get hit with any of those. Okay, cold blizzard. Yep, there goes the freeze. Shadow's probably gonna get hit with right like a massive skill right here, maybe. Oh no! Oh, I forgot. I have a tank, so <laughs> Shadow's not gonna get hit with anything. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ner with light hater, and ooh, you guys are getting destroyed. Bye bye. We'll just auto this because why not? That monster's gonna die to all the tortures, and it's gonna be GG's, guys. So, this is a really nice way to end off this season with an 18 coins, of course. So, I hope you guys did enjoy today's Team Wars. My base still has 18 coins. Let me see if anybody attacked it. So, um, oh, it says Monster Gaming right there, 18 coins. Anyone else finish their attacks or just me? My team, let's see, anybody did a 6-6? Six, six? Yep, somebody did Psycho. Okay, but mine will show up because of the one coin difference. Uh, we're gonna go to war events to see if anybody attacked me and nobody attacked me cool we are good then so yeah guys if you ever see shadow nia with serpentix and a, a restriction together you got to use it in offense it's really good especially against those serpentix spaces light hater to light hater it's really good but um Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's Team Wars. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of the video was. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.